welcome back to my channel, The Little Dragon Reader. Today, we are back with another exciting story called Nabia. Nabia is a mischievous little girl who loves to play just as much as she loves storybooks. But she doesn't really quite know how to read yet. So this is the story of her journey to the land of words. Nabia It was the month of August. Eight-year-old Nabia and her friends were playing football in the rain. Warm showers had turned the playground into a marsh of red earth and startling green grass. The goal is the other way, Ganju, Nabia yelled to her best friend who had the ball. Ganju was in the second standard with her at school, but a whole foot shorter. After football practice, she slipped a clot of mud down the back of his t-shirt. With a wriggle and a yell, he gathered a fistful of sticky soil to smear on her. But Nabia ran away to the far end of the field. By four o'clock in the evening, the sea breeze began to blow and they trooped back to their homes, shivering and giggling. Where Nabia and her friends lived, the houses were tiny and packed so close together in a lane, so narrow, that a man and his buffalo couldn't walk there side by side. Nabia's father did painting, electrical, and plumbing work in the buildings close by. Like Nabia's abu, which means father, there are many people in Mumbai who don't have a steady job but keep taps working, electricity flowing, and homes well painted and beautiful. Her family shared a small rectangular room, or coli. It was on the first floor, right above Ganju's home. The walls were painted green, and Nabia's mother kept it spotlessly clean. The one window in the room had an unexpected view of the sky. All the children in the area went to a school nearby. In class, Nabia listened so hard that she hardly ever blinked her eyes. This is perhaps why her new English teacher, Savita, noticed her especially. In the first class, Savita teacher had read the children a story called The Bear. Nabia had loved this story. It was about a magical white bear that comes to live with the girl for just a day. How much does this book cost to buy? Nabia had timidly asked Savita teacher. I don't know. My friend gave it to me. She bought it from a bookstore that sells old books. Bookstore, Nabia repeated. She had not been to one. Savita teacher was at their school to take special English classes. In her class, Nabia, Ganju, and their friends were learning to make stories. They read animal stories and made up new endings for them. They also made a wall full of drawings about Sabri's colors, a story about a village girl who longs to fill her pencil drawings with color. Then in one class, they made their own puppet characters out of paper cups. Nabia's puppet was called Fatima. When each child was told to write a story about her puppet character, Nabia sucked the end of her pencil. She frowned hard. Savita teacher came to see how her writing was going, and she saw that Nabia had written, It's a girl. Fatida, go, fall. Nabia was smiling up at her. Savita teacher smiled back. She realized that Nabia didn't really know English, but she wanted Nabia to tell her story. She put an arm around her and drew her to face the class. Will you tell us more about Fatima? So Nabia took a deep breath and spoke out what was in her heart. She told the class that the puppet she'd made was of her favorite cousin Fatima, who won running races at school. Nabia told her story in Hindi, a good story, 
about the time when Fatima fell into the gutter on her way back from school, and how some boys rescued her, and how Fatima's mother cooked them up a treat. Then, when the class clapped for her, Nabia smiled, and dimples appeared like happy commas in her cheeks. Soon, Savita stopped teaching at Nabia's school. She moved on to take her special story classes at another school. She thought of Nabia very often, her eager eyes and keenness to learn. One day, she decided to visit her. It was September now, and it was a special day for Nabia and her family. They were celebrating the festival of Eid. Nabia's Ami had cooked sweet sevaya, and when Savita made her way up the steep stairs to Nabia's koli, she found a delicious treat waiting for her. Eid Mubarak! Savita reached out and touched Nabia's cheek. How pretty you look in your new clothes! Nabia was surprised and almost smiled to see her favorite teacher, but then she turned away. I was Nabia's English teacher, Savita said to Nabia's mother, who immediately exclaimed, "Adab, teacher! Nabia has told us so much about you." But when they looked at the girl, she slipped away down the stairs. It was nice of you to come here, Nabia's ami said. People who live in big buildings don't visit our homes. She invited Savita to sit on the mat by the wall where she could rest her back. Nabia gets angry easily. She confided, "She wants to play football today, but I won't let her, as her new clothes will get spoiled." Even as Ami chatted on, and Savita ate a bowl of her delicious sevaya. Nabia came back up the steep stairs and stood in a corner watching them. Savita stopped chatting with Ami and called Nabia to come to her. "I have a gift for you," she said, as the child came close. From her bag, Savita took out a spiral-bound photocopy of the bear, the book Nabia had so liked in her class. Nabia, kneeling next to her, touched the book. How much will this cost to buy? She asked a little anxiously. Nothing. It's a gift for you, for E. Nabia smiled. She took the book and looked at it. Will you try to read it? Savita teacher asked. The words are easy. See, hello bear. You do cause a lot of work, bear. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Remember this bit. Yes, when the bear pees on the stairs, Nabia exclaimed. They laughed, remembering. If your friends would like to listen to stories, I can bring more story books. Savita began to say, but Ganju's bald head appeared just then at the top of the stairs, and Nabia slipped off again. Savita teacher said goodbye as she walked away. She knew that Nabia was just starting her journey. Into the land of words. What if she brought a story every week to read to Nabia and her friends? Even Nabia's bear would make friends with the characters from other stories. Savita imagined as she jolted her way home along the potholed streets of the city. You loved that story, didn't you? I thought so. I think that one day Nabia can quite well become a famous author, and it's so nice of Savita teacher to not only gift Nabia the book that she wanted, but also to come back every week with a new story that Nabia and her friends can enjoy. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay tuned to see more stories from me. Little dragon reader, goodbye.